Well guys, after two hours of logic coding, I finally managed to make something that could find the range of a tank cannon. And the path to get here was a uh, complicated one, to say the least. Let's just say t uh, gravity in Trailmakers is relative. In order to find out the gravitational acceleration of the tank cannon projectile, since it's the same as the bomb projectile, I figured I'd just use this setup to and a timer to figure it out. However, in doing this, I found out that these things accelerate at 20 meters per second squared, meaning that it's almost twice the acceleration of gravity. But in order to get here, I went through other paths to figure out, or to see if those would work. And um, it turns out regular blocks fall at 15 meters per second squared, and the player itself accelerates at 18.75 meters per second squared. Yeah, it was a uh, it was quite the journey. And even with all of that in mind, I had to deal with Trailmaker's new math blocks misbehaving. In order to do most of my multiplication or my, most of my division, I had to use a decimal and multiplication, which ruined the precision. And I even discovered that despite this presenting this value, it is actually multiplying by 0 0.05, which is the number it should be multiplying by. I don't even know how this makes sense, but anyway, the, um, the, the, these discrepancies in the logic have led to the cannon undershooting at low ranges, or sorry, under predicting, um, for the reference, that was 30, 45 meters, and undershooting at large distances. Now, if I can get this at like a variable of 15. This projectile should land seven, sorry, not seven, 105 meters away, aka right here. Still overshot a little bit. Not gonna lie, I thought it would undershoot. Is it accurate up to 225 meters? Dead on! So, up to 225 meters is accurate, but from here on out, it begins undershooting the prediction. And yeah, that's just due to, um, trail makers not properly doing math. But aside from that, it is a pretty accurate guesstimation. Like, I could assume this is close to the value that it's trying to aim for. And if you don't believe me, the rangefinder predicts it should land here. 100, or sorry, not 100, 392 meters away. Not exact, but it's pretty close and useful in a fight, I suppose, but until I can work those quirks out, this is about the best I can do. And yes, it is getting pushed back, and I don't know if that has anything to do with it, and if it does, well, we'll find out. But other than that, for the nerdier parts of you out there, basically, in order to find the proper range, instead of just using the basic physics equation for range, I wanted to know the height, and so here the logic gate has to subtract with this logic gate, but in order to do that I needed four other logic gates. So yeah, that was fun to figure out. Um, but then, obviously sine and cosine, this is referenced several times. Or, yeah, see, and then this is referenced several times because then I had to, once again, multiply two values together indirectly. So that's what, like, half of this logic here is. And then it arrives at this division. Nope, this division. Multiplication, sorry. This multiplication thing, which then outputs to this number display, and that's the approximate range. Now, um, if you went through and did all the math, 
these numbers, this number here would not be the same as the number you'd get from actually doing the math equation I did, which is, um, the cosine, sorry, velocity times cosine theta times si velocity sine theta plus the square root of velocity sine theta squared plus 2gh divided by g. Figure out where the division or the grouping is in that. Um, and it uh, turns out the uh, that's, this is how much logic you need for that. Yeah. Also, there's this is an angle sensor there for anyone wondering. It has to be facing this direction, otherwise the other way it will uh, give a negative number. And so it does take up the full range and the measurement. So that's what I like about the new logic is that you can actually use the full measurement. And this is what you can use sine and cosine for. So anyway, I'll probably upload this eventually and someone can tweak it. Um, but other than that, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.